For any worthy player in the oil and gas field globally, 2016 was challenging to operations. You either get through it or get swallowed by it. Seplat, an indigenous Nigerian oil and gas exploration and production company, pulled through and is today holding its 2017 annual general meeting. The well-attended meeting gave management opportunity to explain to her shareholders how the company fared in the year 2016 and how they responded to the interruptions in export lines and global oil prices. One of the things we did was to champion the export of crude oil production through an alternative export route. And we did this through a dedicated pipeline that is owned by us, that is quite safe, and we exported through the Wari refinery terminals. From the board point of view, we maintained a very strong stringent, uh, prudent, prudential guidelines that the management has followed very well, cutting down our costs and making sure that our eyes are on our liquidity at all times. All of this put together has meant that this company has continued to grow from strength to strength. Constructively, the company successfully implemented an alternative export solution, increased gas revenue year on year to $105.5 million, coming from the open gas processing facility that doubled its capacity. Almost one third of all the gas supplied to power comes from Seplat today. Um, now that we're back to full oil production, we will be ramping up our gas production from levels of 250 million square feet a day that we've been doing the past one year. And we are targeting by the end of the year to head in towards 400 million square feet of gas per day. As I said, that's about one third of the 1.2 BCF of gas that is supplied domestically. So we're very big in domestic gas supply. Um, there are challenges of payments, there are challenges of off-takers being able to pay, but we have decided, decided to make in the past three years the huge investments that have made it possible for us to deliver this volume of gas into the domestic market. According to management, quarter two 2017 is already looking good following execution of strategic business model, a long-term multiple alternative export route already in the green zone, strong asset base, and a rapid expansion of its domestic natural gas business as a priority to the delight and support of shareholders.